Okay, so now um, I'm going to go to Windows, and I have my Windows um, uh, PC open right now. I'm using Windows 8.1, and I want to go ahead and map the drive. So I'm going to go ahead and click Map Network Drive. And I'm going to type in two backslashes, and I named my turnkey Linux server Nux3. And then go ahead and type in Wills J and hit Finish. And now it's asking for the password. So I'm going to type in Wills J and then school one. Press OK. And here is my new Wills J share on my turnkey Linux. And let's just see if I can write to it. So I'm going to go ahead and create, I'll just create a um, text document in there and there it is there's my text document I can add a folder and I can delete those yes and yeah, delete my new folder it adds um, some other things in there um, these are hidden files I have my computer set to view hidden files but um, yeah so anyway um, it will add those things I leave this off the hidden files, I leave those off on my students computer so they don't ever see any of this stuff. So anyway there it is uh, a very affordable free all you need is a computer and um, probably doesn't need a ton of RAM I, I had I think the computer I'm using has two gigs of RAM and I think it's got like a 400 gig hard drive because the files that my students save um, are not that big and it's a great way to make a free file server either at home or for a school setting for me so that way I don't have to pay the cows or anything like that for Windows uh, file server and I must add that um, it's fast it's very fast I have 30 students at any given time doing photo um, you know saving Photoshop files at the same time and copying things and so forth and it's a very very fast server I tried using Apple server and uh, with Mavericks and the Apple f uh, server software and just could not handle the the students saving at the same time had all all kinds of issues with the Adobe suite with InDesign with Photoshop with Illustrator it just was a nightmare I had they had to copy their files onto the desktop that would take forever because there's just all kinds of um, interference with the students doing it at the same time just turned out to be a nightmare I did it for a year tried my best and um, went back to Linux I've used Linux in the past I've also used Windows uh, file server when we had the the cows and the, the license to do it but we no longer have that for the newest version of Windows so um, file server so Linux is the way to go and turnkey Linux is an awesome awesome alternative um, for free files the serving and you can easily set this at home if you want a file server at home if you need one